Hello everyone, welcome back to Elksha's Place Quake 2. We're exactly where we were when we left off in the last episode because I press pause, I stop recording, I start recording, I continue, so it's not... It's not that complicated, is it? Uh, yeah. Use all your weapons. That was literally the entirety of my... <laughs> um, in, ...in one go, so that wasn't much fun, was it? Uh, we are exploring these toxic waste areas, which is fine and all, but there's a whole bunch more um, stuff to find. I'm really bad at secrets. What even is time? Time is what happens when things... I'm going to use this and look down here. This may have been a mistake. Oh. Not mistake. I found... The invulnerability that replaces our previous invulnerability, so we've traded an environment suit, which is invulnerability to gross toxic stuff, for just general invulnerability, which is brilliant. There you are. Uh, although we don't currently have general invulnerability, so... Don't get uh, yeah, YouTube, we're still recording this on Twitch, so Twitch is chatting. Hello, Twitch. Hello, chat. Oh. <laughs> Let me out. I'm gonna die anyway, so that's fine. I'm still dying. I am still losing health. Let's try that again. Uh, I like that you've given me the BFG here. So let's um, just use that. You. <laughs> that was a uh, different, but it worked. So we like we like using the environment suit here, but what we might therefore do is um, take these losers out and then give ourselves the opportunity to fall in the drink this time. And if we don't, we will use on purpose. How about that? By the way, don't drink it. In falling in the drink, that's a just a in the phrase. I don't actually trying to make <laughs> a potable boisson of this particular muck. Okay, so now we can just use our environment suit again. Get our thing back. I only used my invulnerability in the previous one because I remember there was invulnerability in this one, but I couldn't remember where it was. So I'm kind of happy that it basically dumped it in my lap. <laughs> Didn't bother looking for it. How are we doing on... We've got both the secrets in this one. Cool. This is a really big, not just single level, but like a series of levels. Right? <laughs> combat zone. So what we do is we just shoot in the face like this. I'm starting to think that maybe that was the entirety of pumping pump one and was, uh, just not finding any secrets by some miracle. Shoot, shoot your dying friend in the back. Go wrong. <laughs> That would be a grenade. Who used to not apply grenades? Public. Put back. You're shooting fast. I don't like it. Is this the access to knife? Also, why is... I activated both pumps, but the toxic waste is still here. Can you explain this? Explain your reasoning? I think that was everything that's important. Is this the way back to the reactor then? Is that what's going to happen? I don't know. I want to know what's in there, but it might be just a way out. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to try it. I'm suddenly wondering if I even press start recording. I see. That is why we are going there. Suppose they line up in the level in the same way they line up in the, in 
this level. No, because that's miles away from where that goes. So you're supposed to sort of believe that there's been a whole train of... Oh, what have you done? <laughs> This is not how you're supposed to treat computing equipment. <laughs> Primary unit objective complete. Proceeds to bigger canoe. Secondary objective. Oh, okay. I thought primary objective was proceed to big gun, and secondary objective was proceed to big gun. <laughs> right, just go. Can we bother the secrets in this level? Miss some kills, but they're probably the secret. No, I'm guessing no question marks means no secret level was missed. I think we had a big gun like this in Quake 4 as well. It's kind of weird that Quake 3 was like a canonical instance in the series, right? So, story based... Uh, okay. There's the, the story based Quake 1. Nothing to do with story based Quake 2. Nothing to do with... You know... Well, you can hear me! I can hear you! Um, nothing to do with... Multiplayer combat based Quake 3. <laughs> Nothing to do with stroke based. Wait, what? What? What's the, what was this? What am I doing here? Destroy big gun, eliminate all resistance. This is just a. This is a prototype for what ended up becoming amazing visuals in later versions of both Quake and Doom. I've crossed the barrier. I'm gonna fly through the place. Go wrong. Who even are you? My phone is buzzing. Apologies, YouTube. Shut up, man. Apologies, YouTube, by the way, for a previous episode. Where I think my phone was buzzing for quite a long time before I noticed it. Because uh, I only heard it sort of buzzing in the background when I was checking the record. Ow. <laughs> Lockdown laser guard. So what this is? Yeah, there are some really amazing visuals in both Quake 4 and, uh, of course, the reboot of Doom, where the BFG was involved. And it knows the BFG was a big flipping gun, right? This big gun that we are in right now. The BFG that you get in Doom Eternal is the sort of power unit of the artillery type gun <laughs> is I don't know what it's doing but it's uh, definitely defending earth against demons of some description it's also up around Mars or there. Uh, wait the secret there's no secrets in this you just have to win so I haven't found one of the levels I'm rem remembering so I'm guessing that's coming at some point yeah it doesn't actually press see that <laughs> Great defenders, guys. Top notch. This is my new life. We 
them get some uh, HP now. I'm just doing attack animations, but I'm not there anymore. So it only really matters when there's um, rockets and stuff. It's a pool of water. Maybe it's infinite water supply for whatever they're doing. To just push the button. Insane. <laughs> it's gonna push buttons. That looks like the sort of thing where, when you are finished doing the thing that you're here to do. I'm start shooting you or something. Ah! <laughs> Where'd you go from? I'm pushing the button. There's a guy I've locked down. Evacuate immediately. Apart from this laser, that's still him. I are just spiked in big gun area. Explosion imminent. Uh -oh. This way? Whoa, it's counting down, bro. Oh, I remember this. You have to yeet yourself in an escape pod. <laughs> Look at that gun! Shame we never got to actually see it. I've seen that fire, and I don't just mean in the intro sequence, although that was cool that that was the thing from the intro sequence that we saw fire. I didn't have the memory or attention span or anything to actually understand what I was looking at when I was a kid. I didn't realise that what was going on was actually a coherent story. Close main hangar bay door. Destroy black hole generator. Hmm. Unreal 2, anybody? Thanks for this random help. You didn't need to you didn't need to do that. Go down. Yeah. The best you can do to that thing. <laughs> I leave you all to fight and you just do basically no damage. Why are you even <laughs> ammo pack? That's actually gonna be really helpful. Because we have got cells now. Funny little minnows, aren't they? It's a banner. Whoops. Back down here. Well, there's more than one of them. You know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. I think I'm supposed to come down here. So let's go up there and just shoot them in the face. Because screw you, hippie. I'm not supposed to go down here because that extends the drawbridge. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. Stop sending the things one at a time. Cowards. Send them all at once. First of all, I know the secret. Any secrets in here? Four of them. Now I've got one goal, which is to turn off the black hole generator. We're also going to do this so that we can turn off the fan. That seemed like an obvious thing to do. Although we could have just gone in there. I'm not sure why you would do it this way. Oh, I bet if you jump in there, then the fan sucks you through it and you die. That would make sense. 
glad I didn't give it the opportunity to uh, actually do that. Too. It's already exploded, huh? Ta-da! <laughs> it's like ages to fall. See that? This is the secret area, but... I don't know, they have kind of weird secret areas in this game. Oh, hello. You find yourself on the inside instead of the outside. Infiltrating the wrong way. There's a ladder. This seems like another secret. This is the secret way to... Ah, oh, look. One of my uh, troop friends. Hold up here for a while. Left behind some health. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What? That's a murder's <laughs> <a> skull. <laughs> I just shot it for lulz, and that is, that is a crazy golf in the back here, and it's just... That's funny. I'm into that. You can never say that it take themselves too seriously. Saving the game. Oops. So he's best wait for that. <laughs> we do this again? Let's try this again. It's like Stargate. When did Stargate come out? 1993, maybe? I found a secret level! I remember this level! Oh, I'm so happy to have found this. I completely forgot it even existed, and here I am in it. Oh, look, low gravity is the best. I think you have to close the hangar doors here to actually get out there. What? Oh, I love these low grav levels. This is such a good level. It's not even a... It's, I hate it. Um, because it's so hard to do. I suppose it's a bit easier when you're not fighting the machine gun. Dominance over your age. Oh, I love this. Let's um put this back on. We seem to be full. <laughs> you can't sort of not pick things up. I think we're supposed to be in a space station. Does that make sense? It's cool that we're in space. So it was a, a Stargate teleporter. <laughs> not completely the way you'd expect. There's some gravity, but not much gravity. What sort of space station is this? The height of this level, though. Everything's scaled vertically because you can now jump way higher. So everybody is these losers. Does it still hurt if you fall too far? I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like it might be a shotgun level. Right, every enemy is some sort of cell space enemy at least. No. Anyway. Oh, that wasn't fun. Bits of that one. All you have to do is keep replenishing me with the cells that you're costing me to do the thing. And we'll be friends. To tank the damage on you. How far up we've come? This is amazing. It's also rotating. <laughs> Maybe that's where the gravity comes from. This is brilliant. This is the sort of secret level that it agrees.
floating. <laughs> just keep floating. Well, like, four disabled, four fields offline. <gasps> Take out the communication stitch. I'm full on. I believe that was the sound of all the lights going out. Skim to 100? Yeah, okay. Probably could have minimized that a little bit better, but I'm moving on. You should do that. Oh, yeah, all the force fields that were around. I remember. They're just everywhere. Look, stop it! Like this one. Where are we going? Oh, you again. Okay, that was less of an issue. <laughs> this time. You're just not behaving. We can pick these up. I mostly used that because I knew that there was extra cells here and there. Yeah. This is... where are we? Be the teleporter back home again. Got other stuff to Bandolier, body on. Does that mean I can pick up even more stuff, or do you only get one bandolier at a time? So why is that off? Not off. Is that where we came in? I can try picking these up as well. Yeah. Bandolier did not increase my carrying capacity any further. Alas. This is the first... Yeah, this is the entrance. All the way home. Just checking for... Uh, needing ammo. Moving back. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing that lip was there for me to sort of kick off on. So just here then, there was a... Force field that is now off here. Maybe this is just a quick way back? Yeah. Okay, oh, okay you can just die. <laughs> Rude. Guess we'll do all that again. It was quick. <laughs> Actually, just falling through. It looked like there was a uh, glass over it, okay? So I jumped off. I was experiment. I did it for science. I did it for you. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to turn this back on. Okay, it's a cool design choice that there's only like robots up here. So those Icarus are uh, maybe a little bit on the edge. I guess everything here is on the edge because all this stroke uh, organic slash computer, right? Oh, there's a the control one. Once you're in the sky. You're just going everywhere. Right. Uh, probably cut this out, YouTube, so see you in a minute. Does that mean this is a secret? Are there secrets? I don't know. Maybe we can carefully maneuver onto here. <gasps> yeah. Carefully maneuver back again. The corner. It's the corner, Luke. Oh, just straight up. No worries. Good job done. Phew! That was cool. Hey! Gosh. Rude.
Another one, look. Oh, it's cool that they call it a secret item. Kind of weird that it just appears. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Not true. All right. Boss done. Welcome back, YouTube. I hope that I have cut this in the right place. <laughs> I'm not going to jump in there again. There is definitely not glass there. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it quite the same way this time as I did the last time. But this is this whole arena is to battle that boss, and all you need to do is to circle straight it. Ah, look at that. I think you have to uh, actually. Three more to go. Do you have to do? Is this it? Is this the actual way of doing it? Oh, this is the radar dish that we have to destroy. I see. So it's kind of weird that the boss just appeared. <laughs> there was no teleport in thing. Maybe they used to be. Maybe that's something that the remake has bugged out slightly. We did find both secrets, um, YouTube. So I hope that I remember to put those in. Goodbye. Okay, Return to the hangar. Well, there's two hangars to return to, so I guess it doesn't necessarily matter which one. Used a bunch of bullets to do that. Brilliant. Well, that is 30 minutes, actually, so I guess I'll call it here, and I'll probably end the stream here as well. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you for watching on Twitch. If you want to see these and the series hasn't ended yet, then in each of these videos there will be a link below to the Twitch channel. If you are on Twitch, then you already know that. Well done. You're one of the cool gang. Uh, but also, if you missed some of what I did, you can go and check it out on YouTube if you want to know more. I've got a Discord link in the description below on YouTube. And do you know what? Let's do it live on, on Twitch. And I'll put Discord in here. Join my Discord if you want to know more. But until next time, thanks everyone for watching. Hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Hope that you've enjoyed the series so far. And I think we're coming to the end, as I keep mentioning. So I hope that you'll be around for the rest of it. And I hope you'll help me decide what to do next. So until next time, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you then.